Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool particle text dissolve animation in not After Effects, but in Adobe Premiere Pro. And on top of that, without using any additional plugins. So let me show you how to do it. Right, inside Premiere Pro, first we need a text. So I will press the T button and create text on the program monitor. And I don't have an idea why I wrote particles. It should have been particle, but anyway. Then to customize the text, I'll go to an essential graphics panel, change the fonts, make all the letters capital, put the text in the middle of the program monitor and also increase the size of it. Then I'll go to effects and type in Gaussian blur. Well, trying to type in Gaussian blur because every time I'm struggling to spell this word. Anyway, at the end, I found this effect and I'll take it and drop it onto the text layer. Then again, I'll go back to the effect control panel and type fractal. I'll find the fractal noise effect and drop it also onto the text layer. Next, I'll go to the effect control panel and create a few keyframes. The first one will be on blurriness, which I'll increase to 5000. Then I'll go to the fractal noise and from fractal type, keep it as basics. Create keyframe onto evolution and random speed and then increase the random speed to 50. After that, by holding shift and hitting the right arrow of the keyboard, move 20 frames forward and create second keyframe on blurriness with value 0. Then change the random speed to 20 and also change the evolution to 206 degrees. In the next step, I'll move 50 frames forward, then I'll go back to blurriness and hit on that dot to copy the last keyframe, which was 0% value. Also, I'll increase the random speed to 50 and copy the evolution last keyframe, which was 206 degrees. Then for the outro, move another 20 frames forward, decrease the evolution to 0 degrees and increase the blurriness to 5000. And just a quick one, guys. If you're enjoying the tutorial so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Now, let's jump back to the tutorial. Then to make the animation smoother, I'll go back to blurriness, select the first and the third keyframe, right button, ease out, then I'll select the second and the last keyframe, and ease in. After that, I'll do exactly the same with the evolution keyframes, select the first and the third keyframe, ease out, the second and the last keyframe, and ease in. And when I play it now, We've got this nice animation, but let's see how it will look like when you upload a video. It looks already good, but let's make it better. Select the text layer, go to Essential Graphics panel and go to Appearance. Click onto the eyedrop and select any color from the video. Then go to the Effect Control panel and from Blending Mode, change it from Normal to What. And this changes the text color from black and white to the sense color, which makes the animation so much better. And now when you know how to create this text animation, you can watch this video if you want to find out how to create a pop-up text animation like one and only Mr. Beast. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one for sure. <laughs>